Hallo, mein Name ist Stefan Arnhem und das hier ist mein neues Buch, 10 Stunden Tod. Sehr, sehr gut. Well, I think, you know, the first thing is a crime thriller, you know, a detective story. It's about life and death. So in that sense, it's the ultimate drama. And I think it's, for me, it's the best engine to get the story going. Because then when it goes, you can do some other stuff too, you know, when when you wonder who is the killer, you can do a lot of other stuff in the storytelling. So I would say that it's the ultimate drama. As a screenwriter, I worked a lot with Kurt Wallander, uh, the Henning Mankel's character, and he was an alcoholic and, you know, alone and old and just listened to old opera music. And so when I started to work with Fabian Risk, I wanted to do the opposite. So I wanted a more young, fresh, guy in the middle of his life, with family, with wife, not alone. He wasn't, I didn't want to have, a, you know, an alcoholic. He didn't, you know, he's, he's actually quite normal and has a, a music taste that is more contemporary. And, you know, my plan was, or idea, to make him to be one of us more. And, you know, the work hasn't destroyed him yet. I think I, I, I love all my female characters, uh, and I have a lot of them. Uh, Dunja Hogard, the, the Danish one, is in a way the, the, the female main character. Uh, but in this book, Zehn Stunden Tod, I have uh, Irene Lilia, that you know, she's been there all the time, but this is the first time I really get to know her. And, uh, you know, She's so not like me, but still I love her. And you know, I think it's, for me it's also important to, to have strong female characters. Actually, Fabian Risk, he always needs the women to help him out in the end. Without them, he wouldn't survive. And I didn't think so much about it, but actually here in Germany I got a lot of questions about the female characters. And I, I myself started to wonder, well, why do I have so many female characters? Even I got a question, someone asked me, oh, is it your wife who's writing the female parts? But it's not. Well, actually, it started out as, uh, you know, we always say all the police officers, all the murder investigators and the crime writers say, if there's a murder, you always have a motive. And if we just can find the right motive, then we will find the killer. That's, you know, it's carved in stone. And I was like, well, what if there is no, isn't a motive? What will happen then? If you can't connect, you know, the different crimes, uh, if it's just randomly, how would the police work? And then, then I got intrigued. Actually, that story, you know, choose me, uh, I would say. I don't, in that sense, I don't play a plan everything in detail, you know, because with the first murder uh, in Zehn Stunden Tod, the, it just happens. It's, you know, the, it's Lilia who, who he gets this, and then it's the storyline just evolved from that. And I was like, well, what's happening here? But then I had to follow it. So it wasn't actually my own decision in that sense. But then on the other hand, I think we have this problem with the right, right wing. You know, it's getting bigger and bigger in Sweden. You have the same problem here in Germany, in Denmark, where I live now. So we have, have it all over. And I thought it was quite interesting actually to, to dig a bit deeper into it. So everything that happens in this story has actually happened for real. Though it's fiction, but it's it's samples from reality in Sweden. And then, then Lilia, she's, I think, more left-wing than I, that for her own best, I would say. But that's making it only more, more interesting. Uh, maybe it's because I was a screenwriter before where you can't go into someone's head like you can do when you're write, writing a novel in prose. So, you know, I love that feeling of getting into the person and really, you know, have the thoughts of it. And, and for me, uh, all the characters, even if they're, 
you know, in the story for a really short time, they are main characters in their own lives. So I will, you know, I want the reader to sense that, that this is this person, even if it's just, you know, a cleaning lady, you know, who's there for three minutes. It would, it's great to get to know her for those three minutes, I think.